Elric Hooper is the former artistic director of Christchurch's The Court Theatre. His career as an actor and director has taken him to many countries, but he grew up in Christchurch. It was bad weather that introduced him to a whole new world. It rained that Sunday afternoon. It must have been some time in the 1940s. The picnic in the gardens was ruined. The only place of shelter was the art gallery, an alien and forbidden place to a poor family. My mother, the fur on the collar of her coat was damp. She held me firmly by the hand with a grip usually reserved for the entry into places of debt or worship. There was a curious smell, oil paint. There was a respectful hush broken only by whispers and the click of heels on the marble floor, my first marble floor. We moved through the freezing halls looking at the landscapes with awe and hurrying past the nudes. Then there was this enormous picture. Two men were pushing a coffin on a sled through the frost, followed by mourners. Beyond them was a village with the snow-covered roofs. I knew at once what the picture meant. It frightened and fascinated me. It frightened me because it was about death. The cold of the village and its fields and the grief of the woman supported by her daughters were all too real. And yet I was bewildered as to why something that I feared could be so beautiful. Why did I stay looking at something that scared me? We all have a private hierarchy of works of art. A Frank Sinatra song can mean more to us than the Mrs. Solemnus of Beethoven. These personally consecrated works invoke memories and milestones. They are part of our secret history. If we are lucky, our core encounters can be with works of excellence. I think I was lucky in that Petrus van der Velden's The Dutch Funeral was my first face-to-face -face encounter with a picture that moved me. Half a century later, though it is much smaller than it appeared to my child's eyes, it still moves me. The Dutch funeral is part of my autobiography.